Allez, on enchaîne, euh, mais on va quand même rester euh, avec le, le feuillu, puisque maintenant, nous allons... Alors, je fais deux choses en même temps, je vous parle et j'essaie de... Euh, nous allons maintenant parler de la mêlée collée en bois feuillu. Alors, je le remets au départ. J'espère... Vous n'hésitez pas à nous dire si vous n'entendez pas euh, à distance. Je suis en même temps que vous sur le Zoom. Good afternoon, it's Gonzalo Cabrera again, and in this presentation... I'm going to talk about glue lamp with hardwood. Here you have the content I'll follow during the presentation. Basically, I'll talk about the experimental tests performed. I mentioned in my last presentation, but uh, with more detail in this case. As I mentioned in my last presentation, within the activity 2.3 of the working group 2 of the Agrad project, One of the pilots was dedicated to perform experimentations with local hardwood species. The pilot has as goals to promote the use of local species within production of engineered wood products to add value to raw material underutilized and to optimize the use of resources. In this way, we perform tests to assess the mechanical performance of the raw material and to evaluate the vending performance of glue and beans and the bonding performance of the species. The main species evaluated were second quality Spanish beech according to the aesthetic criteria of the sawmill and Portuguese poplar, although we tested other hardwood species too, such as blue gam. The first evaluation we did was the mechanical performance of the raw material. For this, we tested, on one hand, boards in bending and in tension according to the European standard EN408, and on the other hand, with non-destructive techniques. Here you have some images of the different tests performed. So, through the tests, we obtained the density the aesthetic and dynamic longitudinal modulus of elasticity and the tensile or vending strength depending on the test performed. Here you have the results obtained and according to them, poplar could be assigned to a D12 strength class while second quality beach to a D30 strength class according to the European standard EN 338. Following, we evaluated the bonding performance of second quality beach through finger joints tests. We only evaluated these species because the glue and beams of the other species were made without finger joints. So, 42 tests were performed and the failure mode observed was in the majority of the cases in the finger joint as you see in the image. This is not desirable, but uh, anyway, the characteristic strength of the joint of 51 MPa obtained is considerably high. Finally, glulin beams with at least five lamellae were produced and tested to evaluate their behavior. On one hand, at Syracuse facilities, poplar beach and blue gam homogeneous beams without finger joints were produced and tested. Besides, combined beams of poplar and beach and of poplar and blue gam were also produced and tested. On the other hand, at Cessforce facilities, beach beams with finger joints were produced and tested. The mechanical performance was assessed through four-point bending tests, determining the static modulus of elasticity and bending strength according to the European standard EN408. So, through the tests we obtained the density, the static longitudinal modulus of elasticity and the bending strength. The results obtained are promising, showing the capabilities of these species to be used for structural purposes. Considering the European standard EN 14080, 
Uh, although it is applicable to gluten beams made with softwood species, the results obtained are enough to assign the strength classes indicated in the last column of the table, depending on the sample tested. Nevertheless, this designation would considerably underestimate the strength of these beams, as the strength classes are valid only for classifying beams with softwood species. As main conclusions, and as I said in my last presentation, the opportunities for hardwood species in structures are wide. The main two hardwood species studied, I mean poplar and beech, could be employed in timber construction and have a significant potential for engineered wood products production. In addition, hybrid gluten beams provided excellent mechanical performance, combining stronger species with low density species like poplar. More studies are needed in the field of engineered wood products with hardwood to increase the knowledge and improve, for example, the bonding performance as well as other aspects. And finally, I would like to remark the need to develop strength classes of gluten beams applicable to hardwood species. Thank you very much for your attention.